There are three types of commands that are in a ton of Discord bots that all contribute to being a tool that people use to raid your Discord server. But there is a bit of a catch, as you will see. Now, the first type of bot command is the tag command, and it's in a ton of bots like Dino and also in Carlbot. And typically, this command is enabled by default, which is pretty dangerous. However, Carlbot, props to them, this is only for moderators only. And just for context, Carlbot and Dino are one of the most popular Discord bots on the platform. This is a list of the top Discord bots, and as you can see, in sixth place, you have Dino and in seventh place, you have Carlbot. These are in millions of Discord servers. So what does this tag command allow you to do? Well, it allows you to create text shortcuts. So if someone keeps on asking, why is your Discord server called Anti-Garfield Club? Then you can create a tag and you can call it the answer to this question. And the content is, wait a goddamn second, you impatient little and once you create a tag and someone asks that question, you can just quickly pull up the tag by doing tag, get, and putting in the name, the answer to your question. Now, since this is YouTube and I can't swear or else the fake Mr. Beast scam ads won't show up on my channel and I won't get money, in my anti-Garfield club, there is a slur that you cannot say. Lasagna. I'm just doing this so I don't have to censor anything because I'm goddamn lazy. But with these tag commands, what if I try to bypass auto mod by creating a tag? So I have two bots I'm going to try this on. I'm going to try it on this assist bot, which is one of these bots where you don't actually have slash commands. Instead, the assist bot uses normal text commands. So I need to do dash T for my tag, create, I'm gonna call it answer, and inside of the content of the tag, I'm going to put lasagna. And that doesn't work because I put lasagna in plain text. And according to my auto mod setup, it doesn't matter what you say. If there's the word lasagna in it, it will automatically get blocked. But let me try out Dino because Dino's a little bit different and he uses slash commands. So I'm gonna do slash tag create. I'm gonna call this the slur. And the content is lasagna. And if I press the enter key, it should be blocked, but it's not. And since this tag is created, all I need to do is get me and a couple of friends to just keep on spamming Dino with commands and lasagna will be spammed across my server rating the whole entire thing and ruining my day. Now, to be honest, sending these rude messages isn't the only damage I can do, by the way. Let's move on to the AFK command. Now, the AFK command allows you to set a custom little status. So in this case, if you're going outside once in a while, then you can set this little message, press enter, and now when anyone pings you, then Dino will tell them that you are going outside. Now, of course, nothing is stopping you from putting the very bad word as your AFK status, but it gets even worse. I haven't used the full range of my Discord moderator IQ. Now I cleaned up the server a little bit, but what if instead of putting a message, I put a link to an image? <gasps> the tragedy of us seeing this beef lasagna on this very specific day. Now, of course, in the real world, this would actually be a photo of someone's beef lasagna, or maybe someone's sausage roll, or just gore. People will use the AFK command to bypass any embed perms that you have so they can spam whatever images they want. And once that AFK status is set, all you have to do is just go on an alt account and spam ping your AFK accounts just over and over again so it keeps on showing up that beef lasagna. Or you could get your friends to do it. Just kidding. You don't have any friends. Now, finally, the third type of command that I want to talk about is the reminders command, which allows you to remind yourself to say goodnight to your e-girl. Now, reminders are available on a ton of Discord bots. We have Dank Meber, it has a reminder. Dino has a reminder. And Carlbot has reminders. And with this final command type, I need to unlock my final true potential. What I'm going to do is I am going to get Dank Memer's remind me command. I am going to make a reminder. When? One minute from now. And what is it going to do? Well, it's going to ping everyone. Let's give it a whirl. It just it doesn't ping everyone. Okay, you know what? Maybe Dank Memer isn't the way to go with this one. I could use Dino's Remind Me command. I want in one minute, I want you to ping everyone. And Dino should be able to because it has administrator permissions. So I press enter, and it's in a hidden message. It's in an inferior message, or however the heck you pronounce that word that's on screen right now. Okay, that's not going to work. But we do have a saving grace, Carlbot. If I look at Carlbot's permission, it does have the permission to mention everyone at here and all roles. Ladies and gentlemen, I have an idea. With Carlbot, I do slash reminder, reminds me at everyone ping. I want it to ping everyone and when? In one minute. See where it goes. And it doesn't work at all. Even though it should be able to ping everyone, it does not. And the catch that I alluded to at the very beginning of this video is that most good Discord bots will block people from pinging everyone. And I've tried every single command, whether it be reminders, AFK, or tags on every single Discord bot I have in here. And the closest I ever got was using Dino's AFK command to ping someone just by copying their ID using my fancy little technique. And once I set that as my AFK message, if I go to my, uh, 
uh, where's where's the there it is the main owner's account and i go back to the channel you can see that dino did in fact ping me now the only time that this would actually be important is if you're on a discord server like mine where we have an auto mod rule where if you try pinging staff it won't let you but here's the thing if you scroll down a little bit more in this auto mod rule discord tells you that members with admin and managed server permissions are always excluded from the filter rules and guess which discord bot has admin permissions yes dino here if you look at this it has administrator it can bypass auto mod and that's the only trolling you could do pinging the owner if you can't ping them normally and i'll be honest i tried absolutely everything i tried the nerdiest thing like doing this at ampersands pasting in the guild id and closing it off with this angled bracket but removing this space and it pinged at at everyone that didn't work i tried doing at everyone in closed brackets it didn't work and i even tried doing at here and it also didn't work with any of these discord bots and i have a little bonus thing for you but every single discord bot is going to have their little niche commands for example probot here has a command called slash title which allows you to set a title on your profile and you could set it once again to the worst word on the planet lasagna and it'll work like normal and all you have to do is convince people to run the slash profile command for your account that's actually the wrong bot profile on probot and once you run that command, you will see my profile has the worst word on the planet, lasagna, and the worst resolution on the planet as well. Now, despite these everyone pings not working at all, there are going to be Discord servers that have these commands that I've shown you enabled. People are going to abuse those commands to send whatever the heck they want, whether it be using tags to bypass auto mod or using AFK to post images of beef lasagna, people are going to abuse this. And it's not gonna be as friendly as a photo of meat, pasta, and cheese in repeated layers. It's just going to be a photo of me spinning on your screen. That was a sick joke. Now, what I've done is I've actually checked out a lot of my local content creators. You know, people in the Discord space like Beluga. Beluga has AFK disabled and everything else. Custom has everything disabled. And Sounds World also has everything disabled. Everything is disabled on big creators' Discord servers because they've been raided before. Because that's what happened to me. However, if you're just cruising around on Discord servers and you manage to stumble across a server that has these commands enabled, don't be an asshole. Instead, just DM the staff team, open a ticket, or just let an admin know. Now, if you own a Discord server, you have a lot of homework to do. What you need to do is you need to check every single command on every single one of your Discord bots. And you can't just run slash commands and look for tags, because remember, there was the assist bot that required just plain text. But once you figure out the commands that allow people to display whatever text they want, you need to turn them off. And whether it be through the bot's dashboard, or you might have to do something a little bit fancy, like going to your server settings, going to integrations, clicking on the bot and disabling the permissions by going through this big long menu it's annoying but you gotta do the work you know that's the whole point of owning a discord server and you don't have to disable the command outright you can make it so that only specific people can use it by adding roles or channels don't do channels that's dumb do roles anyways uh somehow coincidentally i'm craving some lasagna right now so i might uh go buy a frozen bun from the grocery store because there's no way i'm making that bad boy from scratch anywho gamer bye bye i love you Mwah.